Ever wondered how much you rely on touchscreens in your car? It's a trend that's hard to ignore. Major manufacturers like Tesla, Mercedes, and Volkswagen are trading traditional dials and buttons for sleek, interactive touchscreens. These digital dashboards offer a modern, streamlined look and a host of features, all at your fingertips. Yet, this innovation isn't without its downsides. As we embrace this new era of automotive technology, we must confront a significant challenge, the issue of touchscreen distractions while driving. Ever tried to change a song or check your speed on your car's touchscreen while driving? It's a common scenario these days, given the rise of touchscreens in vehicles, but it's also a risky one. You see, touchscreens require a certain level of visual engagement that pulls your attention away from the road, and that distraction, even for a split second, can lead to accidents. It's the same reason why using phones while driving is considered dangerous and is even prohibited in many places. But the problem with touchscreens doesn't end there. For some, the constant shifting of focus from the road to the screen and back again can induce feelings of motion sickness. It's like trying to read a book in a moving car. Not the most pleasant experience, is it? So what can be done to overcome this? Let's dive into the proposed solutions. Safety first, right? That's why there are new guidelines on the horizon for automakers. Safety regulators have stepped in, issuing guidelines designed to restrict the overuse of touchscreens. They're making a stand against dangerous distractions. To achieve the highest safety rating, cars must return to traditional controls for five critical tasks. Indicating directions, triggering hazard lights, sounding the horn, operating windscreen wipers, and activating the SOS function. This move has been welcomed by safety campaigners who fear the growing trend of touchscreens could undermine compliance with laws against mobile phone use while driving. These guidelines could be a game changer, encouraging manufacturers to use separate physical controls for basic functions in an intuitive manner. This would limit the time drivers spend with their eyes off the road, promoting safer driving. Will these, these guidelines be the solution we need? Only time will tell. Now, we have a question for all of you car enthusiasts out there. Have you ever found yourself distracted by a touchscreen while driving? Do you think the shift from traditional controls to touchscreens is a step forward or a potential pitfall? And what about the proposed solutions? Do they ring true for you? We're keen to hear your take on this. Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more discussions on all things automotive. Drive safe.